Oof. Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? I'm Enrique and uh, this is Easy Things to Draw. I hope you guys are having a cool, uh, exciting day. Uh, today I kind of wanted to give my opinion and also it's also a question to you guys. I wanted to ask, um, I wanted to ask, does your art, is that affected by your mood? The mood that you're in when you're doing it? Uh, and I don't mean just subject matter, I mean how efficient it is. You know, obviously your subject matter is gonna change, right? Uh, but I was also thinking about like the efficiency of, uh, you know, like how well it's done, things of that sort. And <clears throat> I kind of wanna give my opinion on it and then I wanna, uh, you know, like I said, this is kind of half opinion, half question. Uh, I'm really curious what you guys think about this. Uh, before that, if you guys like learning how to just, uh, you know, like learning how to draw stuff, you know, your favorite characters, we're going to do drawing revamps. I think something I've pulled away from, which I want to do more of, is the how-tos, uh, like just straight up how-tos. I want to do more of those. Uh, again, I'm probably going to shift the whole channel back into that direction, although a lot of these have been very, you know, like, you know, cool, like, question pondering kind of things. Uh, I want to also go back to the basics of art. Uh, <clears throat> but if you guys like all that stuff, please hit that subscribe button and click that little bell icon. That bell icon is what tells you when uh, I post. And it's going to be kind of haphazard for the next... Well, not really. I'm going to post twice a week. Uh, I've been doing that pretty consistently. So just, you know, check that out. Uh, so... I'll give you my opinion on this. Does your mood... And I, by the way, I'm doodling here just so you're not looking at nothing. <laughs> I'm just going to doodle anything. Whatever is uh, easy for me to do that and talk at the same time. Oh. Uh, so, yeah. Let's get into that. Uh, so, does your... So, is your art affected by your mood? Uh, I, in my opinion, for me, personally, my opinion... Uh, Obviously, like I said, subject matter changes a lot based on mood. Uh, you know, like what I'm going to draw and what position they're going to be in will probably be dictated by what I'm feeling, my mood, where I'm like, by lazy or if I'm sad or any of that. Uh, probably be probably be dictated. Uh, and, and, but the efficiency part in terms of like, you know, your general uh, technical proficiency of like how you draw this and that stuff, I don't think I've ever, I don't think that's affected, to be honest, for me anyway. Uh, I don't know what it's like for everybody else. Like, do you draw things better when you're, uh, you know, uh, sad or something? Or when you're like, let's say you're happy or, you know, in a great mood or that kind of stuff. Uh, for me, honestly, I don't see a lot of change for me. I really don't. Uh, just the positioning, but not the technical proficiency. Like, in, in terms of like, do like, do I draw a nose better? Or do I, um, you know, what is it that I do better? Will that will that come out a lot better? Uh, and for for me, like I said, almost almost not at all. I, I think maybe toward the beginning when you're when I was for starting to learn, you see these like, uh, you see these shadows of greatness, this kind of, this, this kind of flashes of uh, who you could be, you know? Like, I, I don't know if you, like, let me know if you guys have ever felt this. Sometimes I'll do a drawing and it'll be way above my skill level of where I'm at. And I'm like, whoa, I cannot believe I did that. And then you try it again and you just can't do it. <laughs> You know, you're like, what happened? I, th I thought I just, I thought I just did that. <laughs> uh, I mean, that to me, that came about when I was in a great mood, when I was just feeling a little bit freer. Uh, uh, if you're, I know for me, per, I guess interest level, I guess that, I don't know if we batch that into uh, emotion or mood. I guess that could be mood too as well. Like when I do, and I've talked about this before in another video, when I'm drawing something for a commission and it's a, a subject I just could not care less about, you know, um, then I might not draw it with the same amount of, I, won't, I might not put the attention to detail that I would, so that, that would definitely be something right there. Uh, I would just be like, well, if it, like if I make an error in it, I'll just be like, oops, 
who cares next I won't even go back and try to fix it you know if it's something I just could not care less about I'm trying to think of jobs that really bored me in the past uh, I don't want to insult anybody in case uh, <laughs> they're listening you know and I don't want to say their job was boring to me um, there was let me think of one uh, somebody asked me to Oh, I remember now. There was a, a, a man, I am so sorry if you're on here, but I mean, there was an album cover I did, and it was a series of doors on the beach. Man, that that was so boring. That was so, I was so not into that subject. I'm like, it's just a bunch of doors <laughs> stuck on the beach. You're drawing these square blocks on, 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 a, on a beach. I thought that was really boring, really boring. Um... What's another one? Uh, I remember doing a cityscape, and I, I talked about this before for a video game cover. Don't remember what video game it was. I thought that was a really boring job as well. Um, it's for, for, it was for a computer game. Um, what else is there? I think there's, there's definitely a few more. I just can't, cannot recall right off the bat. But there was a, yeah, there was... Yeah, but the, but those I remember, I think those were for jobs, and I I didn't put the extra. I mean, they were they were good enough, but I didn't put the extra mile. You can tell by looking at it, it wasn't like a labor of love. You know, it wasn't like wow, this is great. And I guess my mood was not the best when I was having to do those. That one felt like, you know, labor. Uh, <clears throat> but anyways, I'm trying to think of another one. But yeah, yeah, like, uh, I know some people think that, right, the, uh, you know, kind of feeling very emotional and sad, that kind of thing. Some people think they, they do their best art that way. I, I don't know, that that's almost like the cliche, right? But I, I never found that for myself, really. I just found, like, I was, like, just drawing the same, really. Um, maybe it's that you concentrate more on it, you know, you try to be more present of mind while you're doing, uh, you know, you're, while you're doing your art. So maybe you're more present to it, and for that reason, you're more... Uh, attentive to the, the details that you're putting into whatever it is that you're doing that's that's plausible as well uh, but anyways that's that's I, I sorry that was kind of a ramble like that was a mixture that was a mixed bag um, for so the short answer just to sum that up for me uh, my interest level for in terms of mood yeah that affects it a lot but I was also thinking of uh, my like happy sad kind of stuff it really doesn't affect my technical proficiency you know and I, I don't really I don't have really a eureka ideas uh, that's just me I'm how about you guys do you guys do you guys think maybe when you're emotional do you have like better ideas you're better technical you know you just wow like this is great I can't believe I did that does that, that stuff come out when you're more emotional less emotional because maybe you have more clear a clear mind you know that you can just focus on what you're doing and for a long period of time and it just comes out better um, what is well, basically, what is your guys' experience? So I want to throw that out here. It's kind of a half, like, like I said, half in my opinion, but half of it. I really want to know what you guys, what you guys experience, because that's something I've been doing lately is connecting more with other artists and their their experience and what they do. So please shoot me a message in the comments. I'm really curious, and uh, I will tell you guys. I mean, I'll tell you guys. I will see you guys uh, probably tomorrow. I'm gonna put a video tomorrow. So see you later, guys.